if it doesn't go well, then it doesn't go well. Sweet. All right. Here we go. So this is what's up. What's up going on, everyone? What's going on? Uh, this is Max Powers mod map. It's called Log Runner, and we're gonna jump right in. Waste no time. If it ever loads, <laughs> let's see. Oh wait, you're not there in the go. game yet. No, it's loading. It's it's already okay. loaded up. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Um, just wanna make sure. Make sure all these volumes are good. So, what scouts do you have down there? Yeah, the Wrangler, the CK, the Hummer, they all have roof racks and snorkels, and the Scout 800 with no rack. Ooh. And the lower, I think it has a, the medium sized tires and uh, no suspension. Okay. So, it's really base. Okay, good. All right. But all the vehicles are available. If you want to buy something, like I'm going to try to scout as is, see. See what punishment I sent all the players through because I've never tested it that much. Yeah. And uh, whatever, man. If it doesn't work, I'll just take the Apache out. Question for you before we start: How do yes. I put my Discord on Do Not Disturb? Hmm. Hold on. Oh wait. There we go. Um, got it. You found it. Yep, yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. I'm in. Good. Sweet. Let's do this. Okay. Um. <clears throat> So, you, uh, yeah, all the trucks have supplies, except the Scout. Okay. But it's okay for now, we don't, uh, there's enough fuel for us to go, uh, go I around. I think I will use the Scout 800. The one I'm in? Oh, wait, you want to use that? Well, I'll, I'll use the Hummer. Okay. Well, I'll use the Hummer. Have a scout too. Just go buy one. Oh, no, it's all right. I'll use the Hummer. It's fine. I like the Hummer. Like I said, you could, uh, you have the garage right there. You can just go in the garage and change something if you want oh sorry i'll use i'll use the hummer i like the hummer actually um all right i'm gonna follow you you're just gonna direct me and we'll just well what do you feel like doing you wanna okay there's two there's two contracts now there's one for uh dyson diesel which is located on this island okay and when we complete everything we'll get the trailer store open let's or do that we can uh, fix the bridge and cross over and do the uh the gr enterprise which is the logging let's do let's do that it's open up to um the trailer store first i don't think this okay. should be that long right uh -huh. oh gosh wait a second it could be it could be because uh okay so the first one is recovering my mess i'm gonna accept it so you can uh okay get it yourself where's that and, um, let's see recovering my mess okay Sweet. So this, they're all chained, right? So we have to start with this one, which is... Wait, what does it tell us? I didn't even read what that Hey, is. what's going on, Jack? Welcome in, man. Welcome in, everybody. We're doing a mod map. This is Max Power's mod map. And uh, we're just giving it a shot. Really well made. I believe... How many downloads does it have already? 15... 1,600? 15-something? There you go. So it's definitely worth downloading. Yeah, let's do this one first, and then we'll we'll go do the logging after this. I'll okay, just follow so you. One, the first one is just to get that. You remember the um, oh the trailer? God, hold on, my instrument. The trailer with the parts. Well, this yep. thing go here. Absolutely. So if you want to get going, I'm just gonna change my settings. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna go up. The, I'm gonna go straight. Again. Actually, you can use the road if you want. There's a road now. Oh, which one? Left or right? Okay, oh, over here. To the right. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. -ho -ho. Let's do it. I like I mean, that. To go there, to go there is fine. Okay, I know uh, there's a watchtower up here. Yep, that's a new one too. Dude, this this is nice, man. This is a very nice map right now. Well, it's uh, yeah. It's, thank you. It's uh, been upgraded a lot. Jesus. Oh, <gasps> that's why. It's been so long since I played with my steering wheel. I forgot a bunch of things, man. So Jack just asked, when is this mo this map coming to console? Uh, it's already on consoles. Everything but uh, Nintendo Switch, I think. You hear that? So Jack, it is on console. Okay, there's the watchtower. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Okay, so this is not working at all. Okay, should I go get that? Oh, there's something the down there. 
Yeah, yeah, get the watchtower. Okay, yeah, I just got it. Cool. Nice. So let's see what it, uh, it reveal. There's a truck down there. Kodiak, looks like. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think Epic. Yeah. Oh, I thought he meant, he meant Epic Games. Oh, nice. Kodiak with some slabs on it. Yeah. I don't okay. slab all drive to. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna continue. Dude, I'm gonna have to play with my controller again. Really? Yeah. Because uh, I did. I forgot to start my uh, Joy uh, Joy to Key uh, software, and my uh, my shifter is not responding. So I have. I mean, I've been unstuck. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm on low gear right now. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's I tough. Guess I'm going back to the controller. Shit. Been a while, man. Okay, I'm going to get that trailer right now. Yep. So how, how do you... So, like, I noticed that you can put, like, things off in the distance, right, on these maps? What do you mean? Example? Like, you know, like, little, like, mountains off in the distance, you can do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a, uh... That's actually a model, like, a tree. That you add in the end, which which surrounds the whole map. Oh, I see. And, um, you can't just many of them actually available, but some of them look more ridiculous than others. So I didn't. There's it's not obvious. Oh, yeah, those okay. Ones, yeah, yeah. It's just a huge mapping. Oh, does that? Did you pick up the uh, task that was near the shed here? I I did. Yeah, I picked it up. Okay, good. good. Right. Cool. I'm on my way back with these these vehicle spare parts right now. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Um. You might want to stick to the trails because those mud tires on the pavement are like garbage. Okay, I can stay on the mud trails. It's hard, it's hard, to, it's hard to climb up the. I tried it. That's why I made the trail. Actually, I said, "Wow, they they have zero grip." You're pulling up the uh, this trailer up there, and it's very moving. Right. I'm really surprised this this thing is actually pulling this trailer. Yeah, be careful, eh? Because we don't have a crane. Oh, that's right. This thing flips over. We. Uh, yeah, I remember that happened in our things. last one. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to do some other missions until we get a truck with a crane and we come back here and fix this. Yeah. But it's okay, it's not blocking us, it's just better if you don't spill it. Okay, I'll try not to. <laughs> well, <laughs> I used to test run this mission with the Lodestar, right? Because it was easy and faster. Oh, yeah. But I had to be careful, man, because you just. You just drive for like two seconds. I already picked up its top speed anywhere, and this thing is bouncing in the back like it has no wheels or something. Yep. And like, holy crap, I'm not gonna make it. I have to stop. That is so true. Oh, my rock's floating. God damn it. I have a floating rock here. I don't see it. I don't see <laughs> it. Uh, really? It's, uh, the, the bottom part of it is showing like, a, like oh. an exposed loop, you know? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I didn't notice. Yeah, I'm not too keen on like pulling cargo with with a scout, but I th think you made these drills like good enough to where they're doing really well. Yeah, this, especially the Hummer, man. Like, the uh, pretty powerful and it doesn't stop much. For sure, this is great. But you know, that's the thing. These are the things that we never get to use because it's too painful. In the actual game. Any, yeah, in the actual game, like. For example, now we have, if we want to try to fix that bridge, right, it's still broken. But the metal beams are here, and the concrete slab is here, as you can, as you saw, right? Yeah. But we don't have a delivery truck besides the Kodiak, so if we want, we can use that flatbed over there. But oh. The, but we don't have a huge distance to do, you know? It's not like through forest with the freaking uh, hills and mud patches and sh stuff. Right, yeah. Yeah, Jack. I, I yeah, the the stock tires on this are actually really good too. Okay, here we go. Okay. Nice. So I just unlocked the Transtar. Oh yeah, yeah, that thing is there. But we don't have any trailers yet, so. Okay, I'm <laughs> going to put this trailer. Oh wait. Well, next one is. Uh, this one's gonna be hard. I don't know if we can pull it off actually. If you look at the the story there. Okay, hold on a second. Um, and get uh get around here. Okay, let me stop my engine. What's it called? Yeah, my precious uh, my CK. Precious, 
<clears throat> okay, it says, the truck is almost halfway down the slope. Try to bring it back up. I don't care how you do it. Just make sure you do it. Make sure you don't drop it in the river. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, is this a... Uh, so is it broken? No, but it's... it's. Uh, <clears throat> you see that house at the end of Easy Money? There? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a little CK down the hill with the tr in the trees. Mm-hmm. Um, well, the cliff is like, um, it's degrading, like it's falling into the river, so it's pretty steep. Okay. And we don't have a crane, so I, I don't know. We could try. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull it off. I could try it. That's not, that was meant to be uh, picked up with a like a heavy crane or a crane. Wait, should we should we continue or should we try it? Up to you, man. That's uh, let's wait try it. Wait. Let, wait a second. The other missions are logging here. The following one is logging, and then so we don't have everything we need right now. Okay, so should we go Hold do on. logging or? Well, let's go to the GR garage and unlock the. Uh... Okay, I'll follow you. Or we could fix the garage right, the the, the bridge right now, actually. Okay, let's do that. Oh, because that's the Kodiak, the right? Get the Kodiak, or well, first we have to pick up the mission because we don't even have it. Or you t either throw that flatbed and bring the metal beams twice. Um, I don't know. And there's an order, I believe. Hold on. I'll go pick up the mission first. Make sure we do uh, because yeah, uh, I'm I think you have you. to do the metal beams first, then the concrete. Okay, I'm coming with you. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow your lead, man. That's pretty good advice. I'm Being that you're the maker. <laughs> All right, well, the most important bridge in the world. Um. Start tracking. Okay, so now start off two metal beams. So we do need the metal beams first. So how about one of us bring starts bringing the Kodiak and the other one starts uh, shuffling the, bri the the metal beams. Okay. Uh, from the garage to here, there's two of them to bring. Okay. We only have one trailer. So I can, I can kind of just leave this vehicle here right, like this. Uh yeah, but it's kind of the best tower we have, so I would use uh, it okay. to bring the space trailer. Oh wait, what which trailer? There's a flatbed and two, uh, two space off road. Oh, the off road. Flatbed here. Oh, so wait. Then, so I'm gonna be bringing the the metal beams, right? Or you? Yeah, or you. Okay, I'll do that. The, the Kodiak, whatever. Actually, I want to do the CK, the Kodiak. Go, go, go in the Kodiak. I'll okay. Just your, uh, Sweet. Your yeah, I want to. I want to go get that guy. All right, I'm coming to you. Oh, this is gonna be yeah. sweet. No all-wheel drive, it's my specialty. All all terrain tires? Yep. Yeah, there we go. It's appropriate for this part of the map where you have paved road and a bit of mud. Yep. And then you got those little pitfalls on the road there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I like it, man. It definitely gives you that like the road makes it feel safe, but it's not. <laughs> but you, at least you have grip, you know, and you're just kind of like well, watching. Safe is boring. Yeah, exactly. You just have to watch out. Be careful. It's not a long ride, anyways. You know, you can afford to take your time. Jesus Christ, this is heavy. Have you ever pulled like a metal beam with a flatbed trailer with a Hummer? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Jack, I honestly, man, I, I never use them. I never use any of the scout trailers except for the um, the fuel, just because I, I tried to early in the game and it just it was a nightmare. Like pulling trailers with scouts in the regular game, it's a nightmare. Mm, I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Oof. I mean, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, I gotta find grip somewhere else. Or your root somewhere that's sticking out by one inch and stopping my trailer. Okay, I think I'm almost back. I mean, I have used the Hummer on my like challenge mode playthrough, and it pu it pulled the the prototype unit and like the the fuel trailer is pretty good. Okay, wait. Yeah. Okay. I don't have the right Oof, most important Jesus. bridge in the world. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. I'm bringing all this down there, right? But you have to complete your portion first, right? Exactly. 
I have one delivered. Now I'm gonna go back with the second one. Okay, so it's just one one cement. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, dude, you did a really good job. Like. Oh, you just wait. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Although I don't know how much we're gonna be seeing one evening, but uh, some people have already almost finished it. Really? It's oh, been I bet. A week, you know? It's just one map. It's not a region. It's one map. Okay. At least we'll have the bridge now. We can just travel on the asphalt as much as we want. Yeah. We don't have to use that tiny bridge. Uh, you know the way we made it out last time. Though? Oh yeah, that's right. The yeah. Scout, the scout size bridge. Where you're like tiptoeing across. Yeah. Well, yep. I made it wider now. Yep. So that you know every scout can make it across, but no, <laughs> no big trucks. So. There we go. Oh yeah, Jack. Exactly. Like hard mode. It, it's kind of to use scouts. I probably should have got gas up there, huh? Um, you mean recover? No, I have like 11 gallons. Wait, for the Kodiak? Yeah. Well, we might not need it so much after that. We're going to hop on our scouts and go to the... Uh, okay. Well, we can use it later, but I mean, now if we want to go explore the rest of the map, Okay. Uh, this guy's going to be... Uh, I should probably jump into a scout, huh? Liability. So I'm going to jump Actually, into scouting. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm almost there if you want to deliver the, uh, the concrete. Oh, I okay, yeah, yeah. You finish that bridge. I'm gonna get out, dip, uh, get the trailer out of the way and uh... sweet. Yeah, it, yeah it's I'm tough because like you want to make scouts useful. Ooh. Holy cow! <gasps> oh my goodness! Good save. And I, I just started breaking on top of the hill. And... Good save. Like, not the last minute at all. Jeez. All right, one part down. Your turn. Okay. I like, I like the cutscenes. I'm weird. <laughs> That's fine. And we have a bridge. I'm so glad you did like cement and metal. My gosh, right that's order. so much experience. I love it. I know. <laughs> Like my goodness i just hit level 28 like that yeah okay i'm gonna bring this back i guess right grab a scout uh what you want to use the hummer no. i can use the hummer okay i'm gonna go get my uh my little scout back all right let me actually Sweet. i'm gonna recover quickly and leave because i have no fair uh no uh, spare fuel or anything so I, I i don't know if this oh. guy can make it as far as the hummer so it says I, I so it says I can't recover. I you? can't I can't recover. You can. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. We all can. Well, I can't. So it says you cannot recover when driving a truck that is owned by another player. Oh, no, it's true. Uh, wait. Yeah, cuz you didn't get your vehicle. Off. That's, That's fine. Okay, yeah. Don't worry, you have enough fuel, man. Oh, I yeah. tried this. This truck was my scout for testing and I, I never ran out of fuel. Let's do it. Oh, we have <clears throat> Is there a, uh, oh, there's a mission here. Oh, you pick it up. I passed that already. Okay, I got it. On the right. <laughs> Local auction. Okay. That's good, Jack, that you're trying to use other trucks that you wouldn't normally use. Especially in hard mode. It kind of forces you to do that, right? If you play chronologically, it definitely forces you to do that. <laughs> yeah. So it's just one uh, task we can go pick up, and then we're gonna head back out to the uh, the main garage there. Okay. Ooh. Jesus, I forgot the handling limitations of those tires. Hummer feels good for some reason. Usually with these tires, it feels like very sluggish. Yeah. But for some reason, it feels good. Yeah, yeah, I really like. It. That's why I added. It. Oh. Yeah. Pick up the initiative, this, uh, okay. this task, if you will, and read the description. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> I thought this scout would be very stable off-roader, but it flipped as soon as I went off-road. think you could bring it back to the road until the tow truck gets here. Also, if you don't mind, could you just repair the fuel tank? 
so that it stops leaking all over the place. We can do that. Wait. Yeah, what? we can do that now. Just oh, wait. Do it here. To that little box? Yeah. Oh, I see. For, just put on the rope and then you have to tow it. You have to call it a tow truck. Okay. Okay, that did that. Now what? Uh, repair? You, oh, yeah, that's you right. Repair. repair. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wrong one, huh? I think I did. Let me back up a second. Okay, look. So, pull the for uh, fix what you can and refuel the truck. That's the second step. Oh, wait. Okay, cool, yeah. Refuel, repair. Refuel. Stage complete. Okay. We'll help. The last one is bring the scout to the work garage. But you know what? We have a we have a flatbed tow truck somewhere okay. in the map. So we'll just come and bring it, pick it up later. Okay. So you want to go back to the uh, head to the garage where we unlock everything there? Mm. Just in case that's the, or go in the big tr muddy trails that I made. Let's do the muddy I, uh... trails. Yeah, let's do that stuff. Okay. Yeah. So it's this way. Actually, you know what? I think it's quicker the other way. Okay. Let's spin around here. Yeah, Jack, the um <clears throat> the forty five twenty is is I think it's still worth it, honestly. Um you might be you might be having a downshift to low gear a lot without that huge engine. But if for some reason you go get that big engine um for the forty five twenty in main it's gonna change the whole truck, for sure. I'm sure you already know that, though. Hey, what's up, Laser? Welcome in, man. Yeah, we're just checking out Max's uh, mod map he just released the other day. I believe, what, Monday he released it? Uh, Friday. Oh, you released it Friday. So Friday he released his mod map. It's available on all platforms except for, what, Nintendo Switch? Yep. Okay. Look at that thing bounce. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I have to be very, uh, Vehicles over right. 40, 40 feet prohibited. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's telling you those big trucks, it's not a good place to go. Yeah, all yeah, the trailers. The trailer, don't bring him here because it's not fun, you know. Oh yeah, I can see because the ruts and the skinny. Yeah. That's garbage here. It's not like it's a big detour to go around the other way because if you use just the semi trails or the the, the easiest one, you're on flat dirt road the whole time and you can make your way around really quickly. Yep. Oh boy, do we have a snorkel? Yeah. Almost didn't give the hover a snorkel, but I figured people are gonna cry. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Because it's like it's like the does one six one six six right. It's really good at everything, and with the rack and all the the the, uh, the supplies you have, it's like. Oh, it's so nice. I figure maybe I should remove like one thing to make it not too OP and just remove the snorkel. But I'm like, no, I just put the lower one on it, not the top one. Yep, I see that. But at least you know you can still <clears throat> follow me around. Yeah, the Hummer. People sleep on it, man. It's a, it's a really good scout. Even the eight hundred's yeah. good. So, Laser, you just recommended Max ma Max's map to someone today? That's awesome, man. Thank you for that. Thanks, man. Thank you. Definitely hey. amazing. The The fall theme is, like, that is yeah, my jam. It's, it's the best, man. Yeah. It has that, like, Mud Runner. I haven't played Mud Runner, but it has that, like, Mud Runner feel, like, whenever I watch it. But it's, like, Snow Runner. You know what I'm saying? It's just weird. It's It's weird, but it's, like... But you know what I awesome. think? I think it just reminds us of uh, of Michigan more. Yeah, which is I, our, yes. our initial impression of this game, and this is why it feels like fall getting the fall maps are just so much cooler. Okay, so, so this is the beginning of the trail. Okay, but you know, it's kind of getting dark. It would be more fun to do at night at the daytime. So somebody has a question for you. So Jack says, question for the map maker. When making a map, do you have to choose a general atmosphere for like 
using main or tamir i guess for like oh, a fall no. mat like no, Singer. it's just it's just seasons and the uh you know the mountains you were asking me about that are yeah. on the uh, perimeter there uh, there are some that are more U.S., some are more Russian, and they're identified like this. So basically, you choose your, your season, and then oh. you choose your, uh, what they call, a, I don't remember what they call it, the, the, the surrounding mountains, and this is what makes it look like a certain area or another, basically. Oh, it's I not, see. You don't choose Russian or American, or you just choose, your, you just make it look like Russia, then you make it summertime, and you choose the Russian uh the uh um, ah god i forgot the name of those mountains around there but okay basically this is how you make it you don't choose like uh, regions per se oh okay i see you start with a flat two kilometer by two kilometer uh square with grass or brown grass on basically this is how every map starts oh i see but, okay you know grass is universal <laughs> oh my goodness i'm taking damage Jesus, this is deep. It is deep. All right, Laser. Well, I'm sorry you had a busy night tonight. So this will be uploaded on YouTube. So you can watch this. Um, I'll try to upload it tomorrow. Uh, just for anybody on YouTube that's missed this. So I appreciate you stopping in, man. Thank you. Oh, I probably shouldn't be blasting you with... You have the... Uh, yes. You have fog lights on the... Rock? I think... No, I don't. You don't, eh? Oh, shoot. It's all right. Sucks. I thought it automatically came with it. You know, sometimes it's a conflict between the two. If you have the the fog lights, they make you remove it before putting the roof rack because the roof rack has them on. Huh. Yeah, whatever. She's Barack. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. Yo, what's up, Toller? Welcome in. How you been, man? Toller, did you you graduated high school, right? I think you said you were a senior last year or something? Yes, you did. Nice. Awesome, man. I noticed you were streaming a little bit. And I didn't know if it's like high school started. So I was like, I don't I think he's in college now. Okay, now we're on some road here. <laughs> yeah, finally. <clears throat> oh no, the My sun's going down. Is, is this is definitely not a scout trail. This is why there's a lot of uh, deeper areas that they, they struggle and they slow down. But after the... Ah, this thing is so bouncy. I know, I'm watching you bounce around. It's pretty funny. But this is like off-roading, man. Like, it's bouncy. Oh, yeah. You have to That's why I like it. Just speak through everything. All right, we're here, man. Oh, wait. Did we activate that, that the contract, actually? That... I'm not sure. No hiring. Okay, it's activated now. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. No, not my precious CK. Oh, you haven't seen that. Uh... Oh, wait, did you there just complete it? Oh, you did? Yes. Okay. Oh, man, here's all the logging trucks. Let's do this. Okay. Well, Eight wheels of disappointment. Right okay. <laughs> oh, you found the, uh, the... The task. We're not doing that task yet. Okay. I'll go pick it up if you want to... If you want to read it, read the description. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's what's that one? Right, the one you're doing right now? Yes. Okay, Eight Wheels of Disappointment. I want to read this. Oh, wait. I'm going to get some oh. fuel. <clears throat> okay. Jack will probably appreciate this one, man. Oh, thank you, Sheesh. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for stopping in, and thank you for that follow as well. So it says, we bought a dairy thinking <laughs> we'd be able to tow our heaviest trailers. But as it turns out, <laughs> this truck can barely pull its own weight. Apparently, it's not much of a mudslinger either. And our driver got stuck trying to reinvent the local trail network. Try to, try to bring it back here and remember the thing doesn't have a snorkel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, li I like it. Nice. Well, if you don't know what it means when you see eight wheels of disappointment. Yeah, I kind of figured out. Like, what eight wheel truck is disappointing in this game? I know. They're all awesome except this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, so we have the um, the, the chain a, ch a series of um, of contracts that need to be chained to unlock the gates and then start the logging. Okay. And also we have three more contracts that are independent. Which okay. is tool recovery, fair trade, and retrofit. 
All if right. You want me to spoil it for you, or because I can tell you what these things do. Um, it's up to you, man. No, it's up to you. I would say. You want to know what they do? Yeah, I do. I kind of want to spoil okay. it. All right, all right. You do want to know, or you don't? I do. Okay, so tool recovery is basically we have to go get the tools from the old nail and bring them here. Okay. Um, retrofit is uh, we're going to be unlocking a crane truck for the logging, just in case. That's all it does, really. Okay. Uh, you can read them. They're all there, actually. Okay, I and see. Fair, fair trade is um, on the road going up to the mill where we have to bring most of the logs. There's a bunch of trees blocking the road. So we technically, like virtually, need to get up there through another way borrow a chainsaw and come back down and clean this shit so we can start logging so we can't log oh. until we clean the road so there's an alternative way to get to the mill obviously because the main road is blocked but we won't be logging until we complete fair trade that's for sure okay and so to maybe start logging, we also need to go to the uh, you know the bottom left corner where the old milling uh, oh uh, yeah the old mill is yep i remember get unlocking this mill then we can start logging for real okay so what do you think we should do first? Well, we could unlock the... Right here, we have the uh, Western Star, right? The, the 49X. We just have to repair it, basically. Okay. So, Wait, where's the 49X? Uh, Wait. To your left. Three trucks to your left. Wait, you mean the... F that's the... Uh, sorry. sorry 49... 64, the 4964. Yeah. Sorry. My God. Okay. The 49X is elsewhere. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix it right away. Oh, okay. I, dang, I, I forgot the, the, the repair truck was to the left. So Jack is asking, are there any plans on making this map a multiple map region? Yes. Dang, can no, you even no. do that? Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, it's man. just, the, the, I, I, this one took so much out of me that I, because I started with the biggest size map and I wanted to make it like so damn nice that it took me forever. I don't see myself making more. Yeah. It sucks because it would be nice to be able to, uh, to use that feature. Honestly, I would love to be able to do that, but it's just a matter of time. It's just... So just takes so long, yeah. It's like it's burning me, you know. And also, I think by, if I were to do three more or even one or two, by the time I'm done, this game is probably going to be buried or something. Probably. I mean, it's less motivation. Well, if if Saber if Saber actually paid good mod makers to do their content, I think it would be really good. It would be better. Okay, so. Okay, so I fixed the truck. Next thing is to get the keys to the warehouse, which is still at the same place, down at the bottom left. And once you do that, we unlock the lo the uh, all the logging um, stations along the, uh, the site. That's not tools for trade, right? That is keys to the warehouse. Okay, go to the supervisor. Okay, what trucks do we take down there? Um, so there's already one logging truck over there with okay. a medium rack. And um, I don't remember what the first, I think they're all short logs. The first four missions, they are short logs, but they're all over the map. Okay. So we could just take anything that has a, a cradle, basically. Not the log pole, but the other one. Okay. So you could take the 681. Which, and... the one with the short log attachment? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> just let's, two let's, of them. let's do it. And, um,. I will oblige. Uh, uh, check your fuel before you leave. Just make sure. Because yep. Some trucks I, I didn't leave full. Okay. Yeah, this one's full. Okay, good. Um, All right. Is that where you're going? Once... No, no. I'm just going to refuel this guy before I forget. Um, now I'm just thinking because there's, there's a 49X over there. But uh, I do have to get there first. <laughs> you That's know, true, I can yeah. Ride on your passenger side. That's true. Okay. Not the low star is too valuable. It I'm is too valuable. The sixty-four. Yeah. I'm gonna follow you, actually. Okay. Um, we start here. I think the best way is straight, straightforward. Okay. Oh, another mission here. Got it. Okay, right, let's... let's do this. All right, got it. So this, this, yeah, this is the same road as before. I just made it less muddy. Oh yeah, I remember this one, yeah. So to give you guys a little background, he made a map before called Snow Mudder, and it was all with uh, with Russian vehicles. 
And what he did was, um, I actually map Max. I'll let you talk about like what you did about like you know what I'm saying like with how yeah. you changed this map compared to the oh. other one. Oh my god! <laughs> how much time you have? Uh, well, <laughs> basically, people were mad because I made it so much of a story that they only had access to their garage at the end. Right? That was the you had to follow the storyline, and then at the end you would unlock the garage. So right there, I pissed a lot of people off. So I changed that right away, giving the access to the garage and the bridge leading to it from the start. And then I'll fall, as you see, as you, uh, you notice, I, I changed from summer to fall. It actually reduced, probably reduced uh, the demand on the GPU because there's not so many leaves anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's why I noticed, man. It runs and really I, smooth. I also removed a lot of trees where we're never gonna go and I noticed that the way um, SnowRunner makes their maps uh, there's a lot of areas where you actually have nothing you can just drive through it you know even though it's a mountain right. they don't put trees everywhere I'm like you know what it looks good like this I'm gonna like the heat. so replaced all the trucks all the trees uh, I probably changed about 50% of the mission added another 20 redid the whole rock pass to a logging mountain which is I made it more I made it actually I made the whole map easier to drive around with US trucks by removing a lot of mud some place I just took it all out some other place I just removed the bit so the truck just slides through you know yeah so it's it's um, adapted to the vehicles that we have basically. oh man it's it's great you, the I even noticed you changed a lot of the paths and stuff like that so yeah i had to reduce the, the depth of the trails the the, the the tire tracks right because we used to run on eight uh, uh on ohs1 which could handle it but these guys with the double wide and back they kept getting hung on the uh, the, the narrow tracks from the uh, russian pipe uh, trails so i had to redo everything and smooth everything up so that they didn't get jammed in the, and you know it's like a vice you know yeah so uh, every we're five kilometers of this freaking map had to be uh, to go for these trucks. Dang, that seems like so much work. It is. It's just remembering all these things, you know, because I didn't really make... I started making a checklist at the end, but at first I'm like, okay, I gotta do this. And then after you do one thing, you're like, you know what, maybe this should be changed too. And then somebody told me, oh, you know what, this rock, my uh, my vehicle just drive right through it. Uh, the tires, they go in. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. When you make it too big and you drive over it with a scout, see your tire disappear in the rock so I had to fix that but I'm like how do I fix it well you know what there was another rock almost with the same name with the A and the N and uh -huh. that one didn't do that but I didn't know but I tried it and I, and then I had to replace all those rocks that were that were in my map I oh my go. goodness so yeah like I said there's a lot there's really a lot the logging I try to make it really like as fun as possible because you know what, the distance are long enough as it is, you don't need to make it hard on top of long. It's one or the other. You know, you make it long and, and not too challenging, so people can, when they don't feel like it, they can use it, or you make it challenging and shorter. Yeah, so oh, I agree. That's, I my like that. Is really huge. It so, is, it is big, for sure. No, I, I like when you, you know, said the other day, when you said that you were, like, you watched a lot of, like, Mer American logging. Yes. And yes. just took stuff from that, and I thought that was really cool. A lot of the things actually I did on this map was based on video I watched, and I try to reproduce that. Ooh, it's kind of hard here. <laughs> Gosh, I'm, I'm probably going to struggle even worse. I think you're kind of pushing me right now. There you go. I just get to uh, get to get that higher. Um, Jack, I think it is. I'm giving a boost. Sorry. Um, I think that engine for the dairy is in uh, Yellow Rock, I believe. Let's see if we can just plow through here alone. Are you good? Yeah. We're, we're gonna be loaded on the way back, so it's not gonna be that hard. Just gotta stay where the bubbles are, you know. Yes. <laughs> Quite a harder to see at night. Eh? They are. I tune back. I'm at the hard time because we're we're also treading the water by driving. Oh shoot, it. dude. What? Oh, I think it's time for me to back up. <laughs> I'm like stuck. Alright, let's go. That was weird. I don't know if I got the current push me or something. Maybe. 
it's, it's totally possible. Look, I'm sideways. In my yeah, I think the, the current like kicked my back end. Because I was definitely in low gear. And I put fuel. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm still. good. <laughs> Yeah, Jack. Yeah, Jack, I'd probably do that, man. Um, if you get that engine, you'll definitely be satisfied. Um, that is fighter. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you're going to go to Maine to get to get upgrades, you might as well get the um, the upgrade, the race suspension for the Transtar. And you might want to get the active for the Dan. So, I mean, if you're already out there, those are just two other ideas. But that's up to you. Oh, this is great. So yeah, you know this logging site, right? I don't think we used it too much last time. Right. So there's two logging sites now. So what I did is that I made it a two-step uh, contract where you start here and you deliver the logs that you find here close by, like not past the halfway point of the map going north. And when this is done, the logging mill near the garage we were at before, unlocks and then you can take those logs to the mill so you still only do a half of the map on both contracts oh okay you want to have to start from here and drive all the way to the mill it made no sense it's just too long the trucks would run out of fuel and it's just it's, it's tedious you know so yeah I made it like so it's like leapfrog and basically you start at the bottom you, you deliver to the middle then you start at the middle and deliver to the top i like that so it's, it's kind of like a chain basically you know yes yes and it, it prevents people from using the uh, well, at first I was worried people were going to think, oh, they, they log from one place and they bring it to the closest area. Because if you unlock the, the mill in the middle first, there's two locations that are for this contract that are really close by. That's why I blocked the mill for the first part. So oh, people don't know, you know, they, they, they use all because they're limited, right? There's not infinite. You have to, uh, that's, that's the thing, they're limited. So if you take all the log and you bring them all to the closest point that you have to your smart then you have to bring the uh those to go to the mail you have to do the whole map yeah so. dang you put a lot of thought into this yeah i do <laughs> a lot of thought and time I'm well it's finished it's definitely paying off because there's a lot of people that really like this i'm, I'm one of them i hope so man and seriously I, I don't do this for me you know yeah. Well, it, it is fun to do at some point, but it's, you know, the, the reward is not really uh, huge. It'd be cool to, like, if you could, as, like, part of the developer tool, if you could actually watch people play it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And then, like, if they get stuck, you'd be like, hey, do this. Yeah, yeah. That'd be so cool, man. Like,. I'm just, I'm actually, with my tips and tricks, people have almost no uh, no reason to uh, to request for help. And also, this guy today said he's asking me, "How do I unlock the garage, you know? the the trailer, the trailer store?" So I told him, "Well, you know, do all the mission from uh, GR uh, from the Dyson Diesel, and I'll unlock it yet." But I have zero, almost zero people asking me how to do this and why isn't this working? And also, I'm like really happy. It's just like that's awesome. You know, fire and forget. Yeah, that's also something I want to mention to everyone is um, whenever you go on this mod IO page, the, I believe there's like th there's like thirty images and three videos on this yes. map alone that he made to like accompany all this. So all the questions and stuff, I would definitely watch those videos before you play the map. You'll definitely like. Or, or not if you don't want to. You don't want to have them spoiled because some of them are actually going to help. They're going to make you. Uh, like breeze through a part where you have to use your head and try to find a solution and some people might like that too. that's true you know the bridge there the yeah Roman yeah bridge yep if you oh. don't want to do it right away then they're not going to get to even try to find it that is true very true <laughs> oh so you jack keep... jack you went to maine to pick up the uh the forester that's probably a smart idea especially like have along the way because <clears throat> logs are just ugh. <laughs> I, I wanted to put it in this map so if people flip their truck this is probably the best recovery 
blood recovery vehicles, right? But because it's a DLC, uh, not everyone would have had it, so I had to make another truck. Yeah. I it wonder. Been perfect, but you know. Yeah. Make sure you refill. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's that that fuel station down here. Yes. I'm gonna get the keys first. <laughs> get the key. Okay. I'm, I'm almost sure there. I feel like it's it's dark for a while. It is like, dark. Okay. So now this should unlock. The key. Oh, there's a there's the. Uh, the there's the 49 X. All right. I'm gonna refill it and let's go we'll get some uh, some short blocks. Nice. Wait. Let's see where we have to bring them first because uh, I I think I remember, but. So what do you think of that? No. The new, they're. I guess they're gonna bring out another Western Star truck for uh, a DLC. They are. They are. Oh. They announced it the other day, so uh, I think it's like the fifty-seven X or something like uh, that. Are you kidding me? Oh. Why? That's a fleet truck. That's a road truck. Oh. It just came out on an ATS. Did it really? Yes, I have actually drove it a few times uh, last weekend. They should have brought out, what is it, the 4900 XT? Is that what it was? Yes. That's what they should have brought out. The, seriously, the 57, man, it's like it's like a uh, Freightliner Cascadia or a uh, Mac Anthem. It's, it's not a, uh, it's not a like, off-road heavy-duty work truck. It's just a fleet truck for trailers. Yeah. So, trailers. Jack has a question for you. He says, if he doesn't own the 49X DLC, can he use it on this? If he plays with someone that hosts the game that has it, yes. Okay, there you go, Jack. So if, if you he plays by yourself, no, you you won't it won't show up. Okay. None of the might the DLC trucks will show up. Okay, so Jack, none of the DLC trucks that you don't own will show up unless you play with someone. If they host the game and they own them, then you can. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. Hmm. Actually. <laughs> Something about that. Um, see that mission that says um, unlocking the gates. Unlocking the gates. In the contracts and dice and these. Uh, oh. Sorry, in GR Enterprise. Un unlocking the gates. Yeah, we're supposed to do that, huh? This will do the um, cleaning up the old site, which was where we are. So what we can do is just hop on to the last two scouts, like the CK and the the Wrangler, and just drive to the uh, the gate and lock gotcha. the gate okay so we're gonna be on the road the whole time so it's easy you can even take the trans star if you want okay uh where's the trans star i'll take Shit. i'll take the tran <laughs> well, yeah, let's do it a lot faster. oh he has the race suspension on it do i i think you do it's definitely <laughs> sitting a lot higher let's see Bobby i don't did. i think you do yes you do <laughs> look at that thing <laughs> oh, yeah, love yeah. it, it all right, so we're going up to the warehouse, right, on the road. But actually, you can go, man. You gotta get that way before. Okay. Just go open that gate and leave your truck inside. Unlock all the other ones around, and uh, I'll meet you back at the uh, top engine. I'll meet you back at the uh, just hop onto your four six eighty one after. Okay, gotcha. I'm um, cruising. Yeah, you get all terrain on this one. Too, so. Good for the good for the road. Yep. Oh, it's nice. Oh, we have five tasks. Wow! I just what? smashed my nose on the edge of that bridge. Yeah, uh, coming out. Uh, yeah, because I was going too fast. Uh, whatever. Even Wait. with the race suspension. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay, you have a repair zone on the. Uh, That's true. The garage. Yeah, Jack, I don't. I definitely agree, man. I don't know why they would. I think they should have put one of one of Western Star's like off roading trucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had the 6900 Twin Steer, so why not have like the 4900? I think it's like what XD or something like that. I don't know. I, I think. I'm not sure where they're going with this. It could just be a promotional thing. Yeah, but. It's, why? It's. it's not make things worse, I swear to god, the 57X looks like a, um, a 49X has been adapted for with the big 
with the flector and the U colored bumpers for the road, you know, to make it more aerodynamic. Yeah. Or something. It's, it really looks like a 49X. Oh my goodness. So they didn't do much, really. Oh, I see. Well, it's probably going to be very similar. Does it have the uh, the drop axle or no? No, well... Hopefully not. These, these base trucks don't have it. Because you can choose the frame you want. This thing can be a, a, a 6x2 or a 6x4 or a, a 6x8. Uh, yeah. But I don't know what they're going to give us, but... Okay, oh, wow. Right. It opened the gate, nice, okay. I'm you can fix it in the front there. In okay. Front the, uh... Nice, I'm gonna go around and grab, the, unlock these trucks here. The HX520, the 680, and the 5070, and the Freightliner 114SD. Dang, you got all the goods there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna park this this gentleman here. Alright, so now we can. And then I'll jump back in my 81. Delivering the power... Dang it! Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Which one? What? Ah, oh, damn it, man! Seriously, it's like I forgot my own <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Delivering uh, the power. Custom yeah, pull the. You know, here is the thing. I forgot how much chain uh, mission I actually made to this thing. Okay, so we can just go do that. I guess. The, yeah, yeah, we could. But you know what that means? That What's means that mean? we need to cross that bridge. Oh that really? Bridge. And you know what that means? That means we need the Pacific. The Pacific. And if we P12. need the P12, we that prob means we need to bring that little vintage 4x4 back to that dude. Okay, wait a second. It's I'm trying to think. Just go have to go back to our scouts. Okay. Go pick up the missions that this guy gives us, and um, then let's we're gonna go retrieve that 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 uh, vintage 4x4. Okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna be jumping back in. What scouts? Take your hammer there. Hummer, I need to. I need to fuel that up while I'm here. It's uh, right. Oh, yeah. you know where the fuel truck tank oh, is. Oh yeah. That one hasn't moved. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what the Did hell you see was... that? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hey, good catch. Thank you. <laughs> so, base. So compared to the Navistar, what what does it look like? Jack's asking. The fifty-seven. Yeah. Um, it's a bit longer, but it has the same headlights, and uh, I think that's it. It has the molded bumpers, and uh, oh, okay. It's it really, it's not a logging truck, so they they probably don't have a very a lot of options with the like they don't have a custom suspension or anything or the, the when you put these the, the the drop axle is just because you have a heavier trailer to pull. Okay. It's, just, it's slightly different, I swear to god, you, you tell someone that this is a 57, they would go, well, that looks like a 49. No, no, it's a 57. Then they look that similar then? Yeah. Wow. Well, because of the headlights and the grill, right? They kept the same headlighting. Does grill. it have like a sleeper cab or something like that? Well, it would. I mean, you can always get these trucks with day cab, which means you don't have anywhere to sleep. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Right? And this is customized when you buy these trucks, so... They would not give us one with a sleeper on this. They really want to laugh at us. <laughs> I know. I wonder. The Na I wonder if the Navistar is considered a sleeper cab. Yeah, it is actually. This is totally a road truck. It's because we got they got the military version. They could justify bringing it in, right? Right. But you see the 114. This is a work truck for real. No shit, like. Every time you see this truck, it's either a dump truck or a delivery truck. It's it's not a, you're never gonna see down the highway with a sleeper cab and pulling a you know a, a four to five foot trailer. Yeah, it's like a vocational truck basically. Yes, exactly. Same with the 680. They're not. Uh, I don't think you can buy them with a cab with a, 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 a sleeper cab or anything. Yeah, but I think the, you're right. The 57 is and the 49 is too actually. I'll let you go up for me. Yes. You sure you want to wait? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's bring back that trailer with the spare parts to fix the uh, the truck. Okay. Remember, there's, there's a vehicle spare part trailer lying around? I think so. Up here to the left? Oh. Ah, crud. No. Yeah, it's here to the left. Also, we're going to have a bit of a, a mud here. Okay, I checked the sign here. Vehicles are... Oh! You good, or you want me to pull you over? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. 
I'll catch up. Tripwire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember driving here with the, uh, the loaf. Oh, yeah. That bouncy little thing. Yeah, at least it stays on its wheel. Yeah, Jack, I doubt a lot of people are going to buy it. I mean, I'm probably going to be a guy that buys it just because, well, I guess that's just me. But, <laughs> Cause <you wanna> buy <clears throat> yeah, because I want to buy it. <clears throat> Plus, I like so, American vehicles, I think. What's this well, little? Oh, okay. Are you sure it's the 57, though? I think so. I'm pretty sure it is the 57X. Okay. So, you want to hook that trailer and pick up the spare parts? Sure. From All the, the shed? Yeah. Oh, we'll it's from. It's in the, the shed. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. For some reason... Oh, that's right, because I don't have any cargo. Okay, let's see if it lets me. At least we'll be ready to... Uh, the, oh my god, I just kicked the trailer. I've seen that. Okay, got it. Alright, All right, so now let's go back to the garage. You can drop the trailer at the garage and we're gonna go retrieve that little vintage uh, Dawn. What is it? Vintage 4x4. There you go. Activated. Okay, cool. Let's do it. You know what? I didn't, I didn't even really think about buying the 49X when it first came out. I was looking at like what people were saying about it and I was like, ugh drop axle you know what i mean like I know that. Yeah. and then like of course i just figured oh, i guess i'll just buy it just to collect it and then i bought it it sat for a while and then whenever i dug into it i was like hey this thing actually isn't that bad so no, all things is, considered <laughs> we'll see what it does at the, at the logging truck yeah well I've, I've been really i've been really happy with it in our all American playthrough. Yeah, yeah, it saved us. I to go grab some bushes here. Get some traction. Oh shoot, this is stuff. I'm going decently right now. About this, uh, yeah, this is really not. Uh, yeah, at this point, you have the load star, right? And you can go pick up that trailer with the load star. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, but if I did, one of us would have been st stuck behind, you know? That's true. It's so much faster. I really think they should have, oh man, they should have broken up the scout classes. They really should have. Even into a bigger. They bigger should have scout made like he, a heavy scout class and threw like the Kodiak in it. Oh yeah. And made the Kodiak sure. kind of like the 750. Or the little Zix. No, Zix is a bit big, I think. Yeah, oh, honestly, they probably could have made all those little those off-road 4x4s. Crocodile. Yeah, you could have made all those like. Intermediate scout. Yeah, exactly. Or light duty trucks. Yeah, I think that would have been genius. Would have had one more, uh, one more category to scroll through when the filtering. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, oh, wait, wait, one? wait, wait. I need to figure Stop. out where I'm taking this. I didn't... You're not. You're just leaving it here. Okay. The thing is, I, I figured this is from a mission we haven't picked up yet, but I figured we might as well pick it up since we're going to get the mission, right? Okay, just... I need to park it somewhere then. Yeah, put on the big concrete slab there. I'm going to go get some fuel and we're going to go get that uh, vintage 4x4. Okay. Vintage. So what truck should I jump in here? Should I just leave this here and stay in my no, scout? No, 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 yes, in your scout because the truck, the truck is stuck in the the mud trail I made. Okay. And uh, I swear to God, you don't want to go there with anything else than a small scout. All right, I'm gonna get some fuel real quick, just to top off. Okay. All right. Nice. The sun's coming out. It looks like. Yeah, we're gonna be hitting that trail just in time. Uh, that's so bad after all the scout the 100 on 
be flipped twice. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> At the same spot. It's weird. Oh. Oh. It just stalled, man. Really? <laughs> it took forever to just grab, do downshift the first gear, even though, you know, I know I didn't do that. I was actually gonna hit high gear and uh, it just stalled. Alright, mm -hmm. so this one, um, yeah, it's where we were going to go earlier, so we still have to go to this. Hmm, you know what? We could try going on the side this time. Okay. <gasps> yeah, with a little more uh, traction. Because I don't want to, I have, my fuel is very precious. <laughs> I do have supplies if you need to as well. Yes. I don't remember if we're gonna need to give the other one some fuel so he doesn't drag us behind. Of course, you're gonna be pulling it because it's too uh, too much weight. Ah! Whew. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't even notice that I grabbed on you. Yeah. <laughs> Good though. It's even faster than a tree because you were moving in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, I just went through those trees. I was like, ah, can I slip through here? Okay, you go first. Gotcha. Left? Because you're going to be pulling that guy. Yeah. Oh, we're going in the rut? Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. Let me, uh... Unless you want to miss all the fun. Nope, I do not. <laughs> I have I have FOMO really bad. Oh my god. Well, the sign fell off, but the panel stayed up, so we have a flooring number three here. Okay, let's do this. Oh yeah, this is it. I, you know, I actually brought all four scouts in front of this uh, trail, and I did it with all four of them. Did you really? Sure that, yeah, yeah, to make sure that it was going to be fun for all the every vehicle. You know? <laughs> yeah, you have to go slower. This one, man, you go. You should go check it when you have a chance. Go check it out. It's called Busy Wild. Okay. I think it's in Washington. It's an actual trail, right? And it, this is what it looks like. It's super deep, and the mud is crazy. And they, they usually damage their vehicles when they go there, but uh, it's, it looks really cool to do. You need a lifted truck, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. So, Jack, you're asking what are my opinions on Phase 8 being focused on farming? I think it's a step in the right direction, honestly. Because I, I think SnowRunner's base is like all about supporting some type of civilization right so i think it's better than racing <laughs> so yeah I, I think it's gonna be okay i i don't like how they keep bringing out scout trucks after scout trucks after scout trucks they need to be some type of like vocational truck like uh i don't know well, they're, especially a tractor man or i mean they do have they are bringing out tractors it's true or just some type it's of tractor way. to haul stuff I think this is going to be the uh, the Russian 745, basically. Oh yeah, that's basically what it's going to be. It's going to be a recovery vehicle with no attachment possible, besides like a plow, which yeah. is super useful. Yeah. What's up, Timmy? Again, welcome in. Yeah, man, I haven't really been streaming lately, so I've just been busy with work, the move housework etc all that good stuff oh here's the vintage 4x4 four four. you see it but yeah i see oh, it oh yeah i see it okay but man timmy thank you for stopping in man it's good to see you oof Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it. Wait. You're gonna make it alright. Oh if you can make it, I can that's the narrowest vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Although the one we're pulling is probably even mm. narrower. Yes, Timmy, this is Max's map that I messaged about. So wait, so are we we're not we're pulling him through the rut or no? Yeah, we have to bring it to the garage. Okay, so we're pulling him the, through through this rut. The uh, the warehouse, sorry, yeah, the way okay. it's pointing. Oh, the way it's pointing. Oh, through that trail. Yeah. 
just keep going in the trail. Oh wait, you mean like the trail like this rut? Yeah, to the right. Okay, I gotcha. I, I didn't know if we were like... Oh, we don't this have is, to. This is gonna be tough. Alright, let's do it. Uh, it's not gonna get stuck in any trees. No, it's not so bad. Just, uh, did you, did you check if he has gas? No, I don't. Uh, let me see. Refuel. But don't start it now because he has no snorkel. He doesn't have yeah, any I gave, gas. I gave him a snorkel so he wouldn't damage the, the engine when you pull him through the mud. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'll probably... Should I fill him up now? If, well, if you want him to help you, yeah. Yeah, actually, I do want him to help me. Okay, let's see. Turn his engine on. Come on, mister. But yeah, thank you everybody for coming out and watching. This is this has been awesome. Doing pretty good. The dawn is so little. Yeah. What do you think about my my vehicle? It's so smaller. I think the isn't the Renegade smaller than the Dawn? Uh, yeah, is the CJ7? Yeah. It, um, it might be shorter. Ooh, that is a lot deeper. It's thick, but we're making it all right. We have no excuse for getting stuck after the amount of research we did. <laughs> I know, right? It would be embarrassing if the author of the blood entire video gets stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Our our little American hardcore mode, we got stuck. That's for sure. Oh, we we well. honestly did really well. Wait, we had no tires. Highway tires, just diff lock, it's no like all-wheel drive. It's of choosing the best tires. And we got stuck. We got stuck with the wrong tires that we couldn't have uh, anything else. This is what we were dealt. That's true. We wouldn't have got stuck if we had the off road. It became almost. We actually decided to skip on it because it was too easy. Yeah. I think we, we probably could get away with all highway tires all through Ugh. Alaska. God. <laughs> <laughs> But I think I think limiting to all terrain is is pretty realistic. Yeah. All right, man. We're almost there. Okay. Well, I'm almost there. The trail part is uh, almost finished. The deep one. Which my fuel? Well, I'm good. Halfway through. Yeah, Jack. I definitely understand what you mean. Fate. Year two has been, it's been iffy for me, I think. I think phase five, I did enjoy it. It was a little bit short. I, I still think it took a while, honestly. It, it's just, it was smaller. I don't know. It was just, you felt like you were just in a bog the whole time. I felt like the, the developers were just, they wanted to like catch you in these areas to get you to flip over stick you in mud and then make it kind of like a uh, a puzzle and then main they totally redeemed themselves like main was amazing i was like it's definitely one of my favorite maps but then and then they turn around and and uh gave us tennessee <laughs> yeah i'm excited for phase eight that's for sure oh are you moving so much faster than me even pulling someone can tell that we have a different tire size oh yeah wait what are your how big are your tires do you have the shorter ones 35 yeah 35 i don't even know the tumor has off the top of my head the biggest one me neither honestly I, I don't play it enough that's the thing man is like i'm supposed to review all these scouts and while i have played them i'm i'm not like off the top of my head i can't like name all their engine torques the tire loadouts, weights, like I do the other trucks, it's just like, I don't know. Because when something's not really a big part of the game, you don't really put a lot of focus into it, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you, you don't want to make it a part of the game because they're not fun to play. <laughs> yeah. And that's why, like, I don't know, I just, like, I would, like, ask the developers, like, what, so what, where were you going with this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, where were you going with scouts? Thank you for your concern and reaching out. That's probably what they would say. Yeah. 
That's like basically saying like shut your mouth. Yeah, and uh, politely though. Yeah. But this this is why I have so much scout based uh, doing uh, missions and objectives in this one. Yeah, I appreciate that honestly. I wanted I wanted to use them and be fun, you know, not be like oh I should have taken a load star or a star. Look at this Hummer though. Oh, are you pushing me? No. No, nope, no. Nope. Um, very, very surprised he just got up the hill. Because the Dawn only has rear rear wheel right now, yeah, it looks he, like. Yeah, exactly. It's not engaging the all-wheel drive. That is something I wish you could change. Yeah, that's why it's... Yeah. I, which vehicle always have uh, all-wheel drive? I, think I know the Tuz does. does. Yeah. The small, the one 166, does. right? Because this one doesn't, the the, uh, the loaf does, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Timmy, he did put a ton of effort. I don't know. Max, how much time did you spend on, on this map? Like, basically uh, basically uh, making this, like, a, a American map? Say, oh, another 200 hours. Oh, oh my the, goodness. The 400 I spent on the other one. Oh, my goodness, man. But, yeah, the detail of, like of this compared to a lot of other maps I, I've looked at I, I don't think it compares I go straight or right right okay good luck. did you say good yeah, luck yeah well the angle is pretty nasty yeah it is pretty that was pretty bad because, yeah easy to flip here actually yeah better be careful Oof. Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. Good stuff, Hummer. But now we're gonna have to peak wealth. We can actually do the mission, pressure CK, and get to the island. Oh yeah, because P12 sits high. Yes. Ah. Tight squeeze. Yeah, it is. Eh? But Not if the armor makes it, all the scouts have some fight. Yeah, the dawn's fine. He's like, oh, I'm just, I'm good. I need a room. I can open my doors. <laughs> oh, this rock. Oh, god damn it! This rock's not supposed to be there. Really? The thing is, this rock is part <clears throat> of a what they call distribution, where you use like a paintbrush and you cover an area, and it randomly generates them, right? Oh, I see. So these things, I, I can I can decide where I put them. But the thing is, if you let's say you want to remove 10% uh, of the trees around these rocks, the 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 uh, the, the editor recalculates sure. every single rock position, and it moves them around. So this one wasn't there. I probably removed a few trees, and it recalculated them and dumped one in the middle of my my uh, my path, and I didn't see it. Oh, I it's see. Not to be there. It's just they keep shifting around. It's really hard to try to uh, remove the bushes so they don't stick through the rocks, right? Yeah. And when you're finished cleaning up the the area where the rocks are, and you press apply, it re it, re it moves all the rocks around. So whatever you did is gone. That seems so frustrating. It is. It is. Yeah. I, there's ways to do this, but uh, this is why this rock is there. It's not uh, not supposed. To. I okay. something. I know every inch of this. Okay, Mr. Dawn, time to go home. Remember where to drop it? Yep, right here underneath same. this little... Uh... Yeah, the shelter, the so same, same location. Alright. Nice! Okay, so which scout are we going to fly over the bridge? Ooh. You want to drive... Because right now the P-12 is unlocked. Okay. We can actually jump into it. So you want to meet me at the uh, the bridge? Let's see what bridge. Um, you know the one that's interrupted. I'm trying to think where that's at. Well, oh, first, I see up north. Well. Yeah, but you can stay on the main road. <clears throat> that actually. The main I'm road by the uh, the gateway. Is that what you're talking about? No, no, the uh, the main dirt road. Okay, I'm trying to think um, here. Okay, hold on. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna 
bring the um I wanna bring my my scout hold on. Scout eight hundred closer to Ooh, but steal first. What's going on? I have one leader left, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh. Hold on a second. I'm dead. I can I can help you. The fuel station is like fifteen feet behind. Okay, so you're gonna take the P12 and bring it back to the uh, the the work garage there. Oh, back where the, uh, the 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 cats were. Yeah, and I'm gonna meet you there and try and uh, and show you where the uh, where to go. Okay, gotcha. I'm gonna park this Hummer Stop somewhere this guy here. All right. Pull this around the side of this this building here, and then I'll go jump in the P12. So, okay, while you're doing this, I'm going to start making my way to the, once you're, you get to, to the garage, the where, uh, yeah, the where, the garage, tell me, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get out of this truck and, uh, I'll, uh, I'll lead you to the bridge, basically. Okay. Ooh, P12 has 12 gallons. Hmm. Can you make it to the, hmm. uh, service garage? I don't know. We're going to find out, though. <laughs> it's okay, though. There's, uh, there's a few trucks you can bring there. I might be able to get away with just the flock. I don't know. Well, you have the good tires on, so. I do. No phantom winch points, I hope, Max. Like the Amor uh, lamppost. Oh. There's no, no. Well, actually, I don't know how my lampposts here react, but they're not everywhere on my map. I haven't tried winching from them, but they're not, you know, you're not going to see them all over the place and go, oh crap. But you're not going to need much winching, that's the thing. <laughs> My Ooh. map is not about winching. Yeah, I don't think you're going to have to winch a lot, Timmy. It's, it's, I don't think the difficulty, the map is like difficult. It's actually really fun. There's just a lot of uneven terrain, or stuff like that. Yeah, it's challenging in that aspect. You're stuck everywhere and need to, you might flip around by by trying, you know, to go to uh, on a the hill that's too steep on the side or something. But <clears throat> this is normal stuff. Don't yeah. Wait, I'm at the bridge already. Okay, okay. I'm leaving all wheel drive off because I, I have the fine tune. Yeah, so... I can meet you halfway and bring you some gas, actually. Okay. I'm gonna bring the load star and just give you a little. Oh my goodness. Should be fine, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm gonna be good crossing, but seven gallons right now. Oof. <laughs> Chug. Seven gallons a minute? What? Oh, you're right there, man. Oh. Huh? Just, this, that hill I came from is the last step. So. Oh my god, it's so much quicker with these guys than the uh, little scouts from earlier. Oh yeah, I'm definitely running out. Or I'm stuttering. Yeah? Okay. Okay, I'll let you give me whatever you give me. I gave you 95, I think. That's good, yeah. This will definitely yeah, be enough. I only have 30 left. <laughs> I like this color. This green. Kind of yeah, looks I nice. Make it look like you know, like, you know, crappy put together vehicles you see in like, uh, junkyards there. Like, nothing matches. And yeah. You can tell the guy who owns it doesn't have a company. He's just a, a business. He's just doing this for himself. And yeah. Frankenstein so, some trucks. That's why I read that this. It looks logo. good. I like it. It's, it's, it's all, all for the logging truck, but with, with the really flashes with the red. And the, it's all beat up. Looks wheels. good. Exactly. There's actually a guy that lives close to my house. And I believe he has two fleet stars outside of his house. Like, I'm pretty darn sure about it. The only thing is, they don't have, they're not six, six I mean, three axles. They're only two. I almost want to, oop. I got kicked out. Connection lost? What just happened? I think, Max, you there? Oh, I think he probably got disconnected somehow. Let's see. Wait for him to come back. Seven missions completed. Oh my gosh. 94,000. 
23,000. Yeah, I think he just got disconnected. That was That's the only way. My connection's still here. Stream is still up, so nothing crashed. Which is good. Okay, let's go back. I'll go back to the main screen here. Oh, what was I doing? I guess I'll just mess around while, while I wait for him. How does that work with the mud intensity, for example, as a map maker? I think, so whenever, I'll actually have him um, talk to you about this, but I know they have different levels of, of mud. And Max, he knows a ton about this stuff. Let me see if he's... Okay. Oh, his internet went down. I think he said his internet went down. I don't, I'm gonna ask him if if it's done for the for the night. I don't know if like I don't know someone like hit a telephone pole or something like that. I don't even know if that would even affect it, but. But yeah, his map so far, it hasn't been where, you know, you're getting stuck. We've, we've had scouts going around. It's been really fun, honestly, even with like trailers attached to it. So he definitely did a really good job with not making the mud really. Okay, I think his service is down. Okay, we're gonna hang for a second. Max is gonna restart his uh, his router, I believe. So I think what I'm gonna do is, wait, I wonder how do I have all these vehicles? This is on my other account. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. After my game deleted, I completed. I completed up to. Yep, that's right. Okay. Now I need to switch over and go to. This is Epic Games. I use this whenever I play with him. So I need to switch over and go to um, Steam. Yeah, honestly, like, his map is really, really well balanced. Okay, game is coming up. I mean, even his last map he made, it was just really nice. I think, like, I can't wait till we start logging because the way he made logging in here, it's like, it's perfect for american trucks like what american logging and like canadian logging is all about so he just does his homework man like it, it's so crazy it's okay let's go to load this is my hardcore i'm on black badger lake so if he can't come on we'll see where we're at stream wise i, I know this is a short stream but if he can get back on, I'll stay on for a little bit longer. If not, maybe we'll do like a couple quick runs here and then I'll, I'll call it. Can we get a P16 honk in here? Actually, hey, yeah, I can do that. Give me a second. I'll give you a P16 honk. Hold on a second. 
Man, what I want to do with Max uh, is I want to do those co-op races to get my 100%. It's kind of sad that I have to do that, but I hate looking at my file and not seeing 100% right now. Even though it really doesn't matter. P16. Where is where is that monster? Here we go. Oh my gosh, what amazing. So what are my thoughts on Cult of the Lamb? Master Wizard, welcome in. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not sure what you mean, man. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna do a quick little run on my hardcore and then we'll probably... The game is coming out tomorrow. Oh man, I don't, I don't even know. I've never even heard of it. I have honestly, man, I haven't even heard of it. What is it about? Cult of the Lamb. I don't. Yeah, I never heard of it. Oh my gosh, that's right. I was gonna do this. Okay. So what I need to do is, I need to fill this guy up. That's right, I'm about to do this race, I think. Rouge Dungeon Town Builder? Oh, I've never even heard of that. I definitely will Google it after this, but no, I haven't heard of that. So yeah, this is basically what I use my my 4x4s for. Straight up support. So. You thought it was some metal band? Oh my goodness. Oh, am I going to even be able to get over there? I should be able to. I think go through and then maybe I can cut through. Oh, the damage. Okay, let's see if I can squeeze. Oh my goodness. Can I even squeeze through here? Gonna make it work somehow. Uh, gotta cut to the right. never taken this shortcut before but first time for everything it's on all platforms like steam okay I will definitely google it that's for sure Um, I haven't played any type of farm sim games. That, that it's kind of odd, because usually people that play SnowRunner, 
um, they play far, farm sim because they're you know they're kind of similar simulation game. But I, I'm more of like a. Uh, I came. My background is like you know World of War tanks. I mean World of Tanks, World of Warships, like World of Warcraft, stuff like that. Gosh, just to get over to fuel this guy, it's like just taking a beating. Okay. Whew. Okay, we're there. Okay, time to fuel this guy up. Load star. Refuel. Axion. I'm just gonna fill this guy up completely. Have I played War Thunder? No, I, I didn't play War Thunder. Um, no, I didn't. I wish you could actually like... Okay. Now, let's see if we can do this quarry race. So it's it's boom down to the left down into the middle into that middle all the way up. Okay, I, I'll just do this. I'm just gonna wing it, guys. I've only ever done this with what's it called? I think like the Tega or something like that. Yeah, I think. I don't know how. I don't know how this is going to go. I think whenever I come down into here, I don't know if I just grab this and then swing over and then come up this way. I might just do that. But I think I've seen people turn around and then just jet down through here, around the back, and then up through. So that's. So we're gonna go like this. Oh, okay, all right, Jack. Well, thank you for stopping in, man. I appreciate it. Hope you had fun. Anyways, here we go. Oh, I, I hate contra. I hate these things. Let's do it. Oh gosh, I hate these things. The load starts pretty decent to do this with though. Actually, I go down, crap. Oh. I'm already losing time. Not good, not good, not good. Not good at all. We're actually going to circle back. Let me go down. Oof. Just taking crazy amounts of damage, man. What in the world? No! Roll back to your feet. Ah! 
That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Where's the F750? Oh, that is painful. Okay, so let's go down here and rescue this dude. So I need to go I'm trying to think how I get down in here without totally destroying myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around. Man. That con that contest I despise. It's pretty much why I use the Tega on that one, because I just like throw it in high gear and not really worry about anything. Do I have any repair? I don't even have repair in here. It's not good. Is it really a lot more lenient? Yeah, I was trying to trying to blaze through there. I probably could do it with this truck, honestly. I just don't know. I think I busted up the uh, the load star too much. So I made the mistake of coming down the first hill too fast. I made another mistake by trying to go up over those boulders when I should have just went around. And then coming back down that hill, I just took it too aggressive. Trying to make up time for lost time, I guess. <laughs> I know, right? Does the Tuz have any repair? He does. Do I? Actually, I think I do. Repair, utility mount, pick up bed. Oh my gosh, I have nothing. Okay, so then, if that's the case. We'll just take Tuz down there. Speedrun.com run. Yeah, right, man. I'm not like you. It's not good that it's it's dark out too. I'm gonna try to get this one done here though. So what I should have did was I should have came down here, smashed my brakes right here, and then kind of just took this turn as easy as I could, slowed down, came down through here. Maybe I should have just used this truck, huh? No way. This thing is way too squirrely. Okay, Mr. Roll you over, repair you, send you back on the mission. Okay, let's go refuel. Guess we'll do that too. Repair. Oh my goodness, man. Okay, nice. Now, I'll just back this dude up this hill, get him out of the way, and then we'll take the Lodestar. I 
I actually remember whenever I think I used a Tega, I I believe I finished a little bit a little bit um after two minutes, so actually shoot out, you know what I wanna do. Okay, sweet. Okay, so we're gonna go up this hill over here, but we're gonna do a little bit of a scouting. Oh, I see. I'm wondering though, if I shouldn't even do this, or even go this way. It seems like... Nope. Don't do it. Good save there. I think I remember that one in, in uh, Yukon. Cool, so now it's uh, daylight and we'll just do this again. I'm gonna map it out this time. I'm not going to go down that little gully, actually. I just don't think it's a, a right move. Okay, let's see here. Let's do it one more time. There. So I'm actually going to go like this. Like this, like this. Wait a second. Oh, it is in the center. I do have to go in the center. Okay, I do have to go in the center. Let's see, it's right there. Dang, I didn't know that. That's not good. Then we have to go up here, over here, and then there. Cool. All right, let's do it. A lot of tippy places here. Okay, take care to get down through here. Go. Okay, gets a little bit uneven through here. Okay, this is where I gotta watch because this can get pretty darn tippy through here. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. What was that? 154? I, th I think that was better than my... Actually, I need to look. Before I stop for today. I want to look at my Tega score. 
I usually, I usually hate doing those. Like I usually only do contest one time. I want to see what my Tega is. Cause I know I did this on my Tega. Appreciate it, Timmy. Thank you. Definitely not like you do, but try. I never see. I never seen somebody drive a twin steer like that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Profile. Contest. See, Tennessee has. I just need my co-op. There's three co-op ones I need. Um, where's it at? Wisconsin. What was that called? Quarry race? How do I see my, my time? I guess I can't see my time. Oh, I guess you can't see it. Whatever. <laughs> so. Well. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you coming out and watching uh, the mod map today. It will be posted on YouTube, um, and I will try to stream more in the future. I'm going to try to make it a regular thing. Um, whenever SnowRunner ends after Season 8, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with uh, my time, but we'll figure it out. But anyways, thank you all for stopping in. It's been great. Um, until next time, God bless. Have a wonderful night, morning, day, wherever you're at in the world. We will see you guys later. Thanks a lot for stopping by, everyone.